Boyfriends by Harry Styles, the hairiest of styles, Mr. Harold Styles. Shouldn't have done that. I literally just ripped up my paper that has my notes on it. I was gonna use that. I needed that for the video. That's actually not the first time I've done that. I've done that. I've ripped up my important notes several times in these videos. This is a song called Boyfriends. Um, it's by my good personal friend, Harold S Styles, and um, I'm gonna show it to you. It's in standard tuning. You're gonna have a capo on the fifth fret of the guitar. And let me show you the intro. At the very beginning, it's just guitar that they reversed the recording. So it goes So you skip that part. But if you're like, no, I wanna play it, then fine. But you know, I, I really, I don't think you should even bother playing this part. And so I'm not gonna mess up the beginning of the video with it. I'm gonna put it at, at the end and it'll be uh, incentive for no one to watch all the way to the end of the video. So guys, I need to tell you that you're not gonna use a pick for this song at all. You're gonna use your bare fingers also, I'm gonna tell you, you need a capo, and you're gonna put it on the fifth fret of the guitar. One more thing I wanna say is that it's in standard tuning, the song. It's standard E, A, D, G, B, E tuning. That felt like too many. E, A, D, G, B, E tuning. That was perfect. Um, if you don't have a capo, then just play it down here without the capo. It's gonna sound lower than the way that I'm doing it in this video, but whatever. It's gonna be fine. Who cares? So, first thing we need to do is learn this little... That little thing right there. So here's how you do this. Happens throughout the song, multiple times. Put your ring finger on the third fret of the top string. You are going to play that top string with your thumb. Just a little pluck of the thumb, as they say in ye old England, where Harold Styles is presumably from. Maybe he's from Australia. I am Harold Styles from Australia. Sean Connery's clearly from Australia. So we've got one note from the song done so far. You play the top string with your thumb. Then you're gonna jump down to the third string from the top. You're gonna play that note with your thumb. Then play the third string from the bottom with your pointer finger. And then go right back to third string from the top with your thumb. So that was thumb, thumb, finger, thumb. Boom, chicky, pow. Boom, chicky, pow. Hey, boom, chicky, pow. What? Boom, chicky, pow. Great job. After you do that, you're gonna bring your thumb down to the third string from the top again. You're gonna have either your middle finger or your pointer finger. I don't even care. I use my middle finger, but do whatever you wanna do. And grab the bottom of the second string from the bottom, and you're gonna pinch those two strings together like that. So now we've got boom, chicky, pow, pinch, two, three. Boom, chicky, pow, pinch. Great job. Immediately, Im immediately after that pinch, you're gonna take your pointer finger and you're gonna hammer it on to the first fret of the second to bottom string. So that means right after you play that note, your pointer finger just goes boom and smashes into the first fret of the second to bottom string. But at the same time, your middle finger is gonna smash down onto the second fret of the third string from the top. Those are the two strings we pinched over here. So you play them open and then Hammer on, guys. So now we've got this. Boom, chicky, pow, hammer. Oh, boom, chicky, pow, hammer. You, do you understand what I'm saying? Then you're going to release these two fingers from the strings. You're going to once again pinch those very two same strings together. And then once again, hammer on to those two notes again. So we've got boom, chicky, pow, hammer, hammer. Let's do this together, not once, not twice, but two times in a row. Here we go. Boom, chicky, pow, hammer, hammer. Great job, and here we go. Boom, chicky, pow, hammer, hammer. Immediately after the hammer, hammer, you're gonna play the top string with your thumb again, and you're gonna play the second string from the bottom with your middle finger. You're gonna pinch those two strings together. So now we've got thumb, chicky, pow, hammer, hammer, pinch. Are you ready to play this with me? One, two, three, bee, boo, bee. Boom, chicky, pow, uh, uh, pinch. We're gonna do this three times in a row, but here's the thing. That last pinch we just did is gonna take the place of that first thumb note we did. So here's what I mean. We're going thumb, chicky, pow, hammer, hammer, Pinch chicky pow, hammer, hammer. So we go from thumb chicky pow to pinch chicky pow. 
Makes sense. So immediately now, at this point in the tutorial, my name is Stuart, by the way. Welcome to the channel. Guys, I have recorded a tutorial for every single Harry Styles song on the planet, so subscribe. Not a single other Harry Styles song. Not even a One Direction song. Guys, I haven't even done a, um, a Rolling Stones song. It's a worthless channel. Stay away from it. Stay as far away from it as you can. Reverse psychology. You ready to do this thing three times in a row just like they do in the introduction to the song Boyfriends by Harry Styles. One, two, three, here we go. Boom, chicky pow, hammer, hammer, pinch, chicky pow, hammer, hammer, pinch, chicky pow, hammer, hammer, pinch. Bye, friends. We now are going to begin what I like to call the A section to the song. This song basically just has two sections. It has an A section and a B section. That's not entirely true, but it's basically true. Take my word for it. We're going to learn now the A section. It's you might call it's sort of like a verse, but it's not exactly like a verse. It's the A section. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna have your ring finger on the third fret of the top string, just like we did in the introduction. And we're gonna do this picking pattern. You're gonna play top string with your thumb, second string from the bottom with your middle finger. You're gonna pinch those two together. Then, oh, you're gonna play the third string from the top with your thumb, third string from the bottom with your pointer finger, then right back to third string from the top with your thumb. Very similar to how we started the intro. Not exactly the same, but basically the same. So we're gonna go pinch, thumb, finger, thumb. Pinch, thumb, finger, thumb. Pinch, thumb, finger, thumb. Let's do that. Let's do that a few times in a row, slowly. We're practicing it right now, guys. This is, the thing is, even if you're used to finger picking, this song's a, a little different than some songs you may have played because this song is in three, four time, which means, or 12, eight time, I don't know. It's, it's you know, it's based in groups of three. We're going like one, two, and three, one, two, and three, one, two, and three, as opposed to one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. All right, that was garbage that I just played. So be careful is what I'm trying to say. The rhythm might not be exactly what you suspect it's going to be. So here we go. Let's play it like eight times in a row or whatever. Just one, two, three, here we go. Pinch, thumb, finger, thumb. Pinch, thumb, finger, thumb. Pinch, thumb, finger, thumb. Pinch, thumb, finger, thumb. Are you counting? I'm not counting. I actually am counting. I know exactly how many times we've done it. I think, is that eight? Oh, that might've been nine. Sorry if I lied to you. People of the world, friends and relatives, we're gonna do that with what they actually do in the songs. They do that four times on this G chord. I know this isn't, this is only one finger. It doesn't seem like a full on G chord, but I'm telling you, this is a G chord, okay? Then we're gonna switch to a D chord. Look familiar? Middle finger, second fret, bottom string, ring finger, third fret, second string from the bottom, pointer finger, second fret, third string from the bottom. We're gonna do the same picking pattern, but we're gonna use slightly different strings. Bring your thumb down to the third string from the top, and you're gonna pinch together that string and the bottom string together. And then you're gonna go thumb, finger, thumber, or thumber, whoa, on the second and third string from the bottom. See that, so we're going pinch, thumb, finger, thumb. Hey, pinch, thumb, finger, thumb. We're gonna do that four times on the D. So let's practice doing it four times on the G, then four times on the D. One, two, three, watch this thing. Get ready, we're gonna switch right here, oh! Now, if you want them to get some extra credit, something that they do in the recording from time to time is on the third time that they play the D, they go like this. So what that was, was when I did that initial pinch, I got rid of my middle finger, pinched, and then hammer on, hammered on with my middle finger onto that second fret of the bottom. So it was like D, D, hammer, D. Like I said, extra credit, no big deal. Then we're gonna go to an A minor chord. Guys, put your pointer finger on the first fret of the second string from the bottom, ring finger, second fret, third string from the bottom, middle finger, second fret, third string from the top. We're going to do the same picking pattern, but now it's gonna be on the middle four strings. So have your thumb on the second string from the top, pinch together the thumb with the second string from the bottom, and then use the middle two strings for thumb finger thing. Why can't I, why did I, first time I said thumber, this time I said finger. Ah, ah! Legitimately making it very hard to read my notes. A minor chord, we're gonna do it three times. We go one, 
two, three. Then we start it a fourth time, but you're just gonna do the first three notes. You just go pinch, thumb, finger. Then you're gonna play with your middle finger, the second fret on the second string from the top, and just play that one note with your thumb. So that was like pinch, thumb, finger, thumb on the second fret of the second string from the top. And that takes us to a C chord, guys. That's just little this little transitional note leading us into the C chord, which the C chord is pointer finger, first fret, second string from the bottom. Skip the third string from the bottom. Put your middle finger on the second fret of the third string from the top. Put your ring finger on the third fret of the second string from the top. Do the exact same picking we just did for the A minor on this C chord. Pop quiz, what's this chord called? Wrong, it's a C chord. You're gonna do the same picking, but only do it twice. One, two, and then we're gonna switch back to the D. Remember the D? And you're gonna do the picking on the bottom four strings. Guys, that was a whole lot of information we covered. So let's, what do you say we start from the beginning of the A section? We're gonna do the G, the one finger G four times. We're gonna do the D four times. I'm gonna add that little secret hammer on thing. Then we do the A three times. Then we start it again, do the little second fret walk up thing to the C chord two times, then the D chord two times. One, two, three, nice and slow. G, G, third time. Last time to the D. I'm gonna do the hammer on in just a second. Here it comes. Yeah, then the A minor. Get ready, we're doing, here we go. Fourth time, second fret, oh. Then D right away, D. Okay, great. Then we go back to our one finger G. We're gonna do our same picking, our G picking twice on this. Go to an E minor, guys. E minor is one of my favorites of all time. Second fret, second string from the top, second fret, third string from the top. Just those strings. We're gonna do the exact same picking we just did on the G, where you start with your thumb on the top string, your middle finger down on the second to bottom. We do it twice. If you haven't noticed, we do this picking a lot. That's not gonna stop. This is pretty much the picking we're gonna do for the, we have, we do this picking, this bang, tiki, pow, or we do our intro picking which is very similar. So anyway, I said that which is right now. After the E minor twice, we're gonna go back to A minor. Remember that one? We're gonna do the exact same thing on the A minor. We do it once, two, ice, thrice, four, ace, have four, four, once, twice, thrice, quite, quite thrice. Not worth our time right now. Uh, you do the little second fret thing, walk it up to C again. But here's what I wanna say about this A minor. This time on the A minor, if we want it on the third time playing it, we can hammer on, just like we did on the D, we did that hammer on. We can do that same thing on A minor with the pointer finger on the first fret. So we can go like, oh, it's pretty, right? They do that sometimes in the recording. So it's like once, twice, hammer on, then, See that right there? So, okay. So the second half of the A section, we're doing the G, G, then E minor, then A minor. I'm gonna do the hammer on right here. Then the second fret, then we go back to C again. We're gonna do the C twice. Then we go to D, but I would like to tell you that there's something that I've seen videos of Harry Styles doing live that I think is pretty cool. I don't think this is what they're doing on the actual like album recording, but what you can do for the D, the second time we get to D, or I guess it's the third time we get to D, excuse me. Instead of going to the regular D like this, take your C chord and just slide it one, two frets over and go. So now this turns into like a D, it's like a, it's like a D sus with a 10 or a D, I don't know, it's some, it's, it's pretty. You can do that if you want. I like to do it that way. Then we go back to our intro riff and we do it trace times. That's Spanish for three. I'm surprised you didn't know that. I messed up a little bit. That's okay, you forgive me. I messed up again because I was busy talking. So let's, that's, that's the whole entire first A section. What do you say we play the whole A section all the way through? One, two, three, here we go, G. 
last time than D. A minor. Get ready for the second fret. C, then D. Ugh, shoot, darn. G, E minor. A minor. I'm gonna do the hammer on. Then I'm gonna go up, because I think that's cool. Then. Three times. And then the second A section starts. Guys, second A section is almost exactly the same as the first A section. That's why they're both called A sections. Second A section, I'm gonna cruise through it really quickly. So the second A section starts off exactly the same as the first. We do our one finger G four times. Two, three, four. We go to D just like before, four times. You can even do the hammer on, then A minor. Four times with a little walk up. Second fret, oh, back to C, then D. So everything there was exactly the same as the first time. But then when we go back to the G, so we go back to our one finger G, we do the picking twice. No, that's a lie. We do the picking one time. Then we're gonna go to a D over F sharp. There are a couple ways to do that. You can play a regular D chord and then your thumb can come up over the top and play the second fret on the top string. Or if you don't wanna use your thumb like that, you are completely welcome to put your pointer finger on the second fret of the top string, put your middle finger on the second fret of the third string from the bottom and your ring finger on the third fret of the second string from the bottom, guys. You're gonna do the same picking we do on the G, where your thumb is up on the top string and you're using the second to bottom string. So it goes like that. So we've got G, D over F sharp, okay? Then we go to E minor again, two times on E minor. Then we go to A minor. Walk up to C. And then I'm gonna do my same fancy D where I move it up to the fifth fret. But then check it out, things are a little different here. In the first A section, we kind of ended it here. What we're gonna do this time is we're gonna go back to G and then go back to the D over F sharp and then go back to E minor. Then we go to A minor again. We do our little walk up the second fret. C, then scooch up two frets, back to the riff, back to the intro riff. And we're only gonna do it one single solitary time. So guys, the second A section, just to summarize, second A section starts off exactly like the first A section. Once we get partway through, we're gonna, instead of just going G, to E minor, we're going G, D over F sharp, then E minor. I don't know what that chord was I just played. And then we're gonna play A minor, C, D, and then we're gonna repeat G, D over F sharp, E minor, A minor, C, D. We just kind of take the end part of the A section and repeat it. This is, I'm at my worst right now. Let's, let, what do you say we play through the whole second A section together? One, two, three, here we go. G. Four times. Then to the D. No, this isn't worth it. Forget it, forget it, forget the whole thing. Let me show you the bridge and then I'll play through the whole song at the end. How about that? Will that make you happy? The bridge, also known as the B section, goes like this. You start on the C chord. You can do a regular picking on the C chord. One, two, three, three times. Then you're gonna go like this. You pinch the second from the top and second from the bottom. Then play the second fret on the second string from the top all by itself with your thumb. And then the second string from the top open with your thumb. So that was C, two, three, pinch, bing, bow. And that brings us to our one finger G. Just one time, then we go to D over F sharp just one time. Then we go to E minor two times. 
And then we repeat that exact same thing. We go C, 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 bing, bang, bong, ba. What is it? G, D over F sharp, E minor. And then, then we get to the A chord, guys. The A chord, you can play it like this with three fingers, but here's what I recommend for this song. Use your pointer finger. Play the second fret of the third string from the top. Using that very same pointer finger, smash down on the next two strings. So we've got second fret, third string from the top, second fret, third string from the bottom, and second fret, second string from the bottom. The reason why is because I want you to reach up here with your other fingers. What you also can do is use these, and then we can kind of make do with the pinky and stuff. But let's let's learn it like this, with the pointer finger mashing down on all three of those strings. Got your A chord here. You're going to do the regular picking on the middle four strings. So it's pinch, thumb, finger, thumb. Then pinch again, but right after you pinch, hammer on with your middle finger to the third fret of the second string from the bottom. So it's pinch, thumb, finger, thumb, hammer, thumb, finger, thumb. Bring your pinky up to the fifth fret of the second string from the bottom. Do the regular picking. And then you're going to go like this. Pinch. No, no, no. Then you're going to get rid of your pinky. You're going to play Pinch with your middle finger on the third fret of the second string from the bottom. Pinch with just the pointer finger and then play the second string from the bottom open. So that whole A part was bow, chicky, pow, hammer, chicky, pow, five, chicky, pow, three, two, zero. We just completed the bridge. So we, we should probably play the whole B section bridge all the way through. One, two, three, watch this song. Repeat back to C. Watch the flying Ah, and then I left out one thing. Then you go to a regular D chord and you go like this. So the way I'm doing that, I got my thumb and my fingers on those bottom four strings, and I just kind of. I, my, my thumb goes first, then these three fingers, I kind of peel them off the strings. Then you wait. And then you go right back to the A section. This is the third A section, which is exactly the same as the second A section with one little difference. At the very end, instead of just going one time, we are going to do it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, times. Seven times. So I guess now we just play through the whole song. I'm going to get tuned up first, though. Maybe have a sip of water, and then we will play through the whole song. Sound like a plan? I don't even need this. I know it by heart. What do you think the chances are I'm actually going to get through this? One, two, three, here we go. Then the A section. Okay, that's a close one. I'm gonna stop singing. Singing. So long. Three times. Then the second A section, my friend. I don't believe in. Shrag is so late. I think that was right. Oh, strong. Hey guys, this is Stuart. Uh, you know, it's been a long video. 
And uh, we're playing through the whole song here, and it's, it's pretty tough. I just wanted to let you know you're doing great. We're about to go to the bridge, and you know, then we're going to wrap this whole thing up. So give your fingers a little break. We're going to jump right back in, and, and congratulations. Then the bridge with the sea. No problem. The sound of Then the A. Hey guys, it's me, Stuart, again. Just wanted to, just wanted to interrupt one more time, give you a little break, give you just a couple more words of encouragement. We're gonna wrap up the song here in just a minute. Just getting a little bit of practice for if I ever decide to make a podcast. Don't think I will, but but this sounds like a podcast. So anyway, let's get back to the song. Final A section, guys. Bye, friend. They don't believe me. They just deceive me. Then they go fast. Oh, they will be as one. What is that song? I think I messed up something the first time through. I definitely, I don't know. Well, we're at the end now. There's once, twice, three times, four times, five times, six times, Seven times. They should end it like that, where they just count to seven. Very dramatically. Okay, now I think we go to the stupid reverse guitar thing that there's no point in me teaching you. Everything else about this video is perfect. Bye. So here's that reverse guitar part that I promised you at the end of the video. But if you really want to play it, okay, have your play the third fret on the top string. You're gonna play the top string and the third string from the bottom together. Then you're gonna play the third string from the top and the second string from the bottom together. And then you're gonna put your pointer finger on the first fret of the second string from the bottom, middle finger on the second fret of the third string from the top. You're gonna pinch those two notes together with your thumb and your pointer finger. And then you're gonna pull off those notes and you do that again. So it goes boom. But like I said, don't, don't play that part, skip it. <laughs> 